guys what's up welcome back to my channel i hope that you are hungry because tonight i am making zucchini squash chicken alfredo all right let's get into it for this meal you will be needing egg noodles spinach zucchini and squash definitely some chicken breast some creole seasoning some basil pesto and tomatoes needing flour milk or heavy whipping cream butter cream cheese is optional salt pepper parsley adobo and some chicken bouillon flavoring all right, what you're gonna do is start cutting up your chicken. All right, cut it into tiny little cubes. Throw it into a bowl, add your seasoning to it. Then you're gonna be pouring some minced garlic into the chicken, just eye it, you know? Who's measuring anything these days? Start dicing up your tomatoes into tiny cubes the same way that you diced up your chicken. Make sure that you get them. Oh my God, sorry about that. I clearly need to put my phone on silent. Anyway. Dice up your tomatoes in little tiny cubes, and then when you're finished, you're going to throw it in the bowl with your chicken. This is going to make a roasted tomato effect as we're cooking down the chicken. Put your chicken in a bowl. Go ahead and mix and marinate that all up. When you're finished, put it in a pan and turn the fire to medium. All right, guys, next we're going to be using our flour, milk, or heavy whipping cream, butter, and our optional cream cheese. I used about two cups of milk and a half a cup of flour. I poured it into a saucepan and stirred slowly with the fire on high just to get it thick in the beginning, and then I turned it to low. You're going to use three tablespoons of butter and add into this mixture. Okay, guys, you can, can go ahead and continue pouring your milk and your flour into the pot and pan. Make sure that you are, once again, mixing this consistently. Next, we're going to add some Creole seasoning into our sauce, some minced garlic, and some basil pesto. This is going to help you get your flavor tasting just like Alfredo sauce. Honestly, I think it's even better. Tend to your chicken in between stirring your sauce. It is really tedious, but this part is super important for texture. As you can see, as I'm stirring, this is the consistency that you are going to want your sauce to be when you're finished. Okay, up next guys, we are gonna be spraying a pan down with olive oil spray. I swear by olive oil spray, I love it. We're gonna be taking those seasonings that I introduced to you earlier, and we're going to be cooking our vegetables. I do freeze my zucchini and my squash to save them and make them last way longer. So once you start cooking that down in the pot, it will produce a lot of water. Okay guys, so while that this is cooking down, you are going to get a pan, fill it up with water and a little bit of sea salt just until it boils for your egg noodles. So see how much water this is producing here. We don't want this much water in our vegetables, so go ahead and drain that out. Get them nice and dry like this. Once again, we're adding more minced garlic. I love minced garlic, like I told you. And guess what's next? Some more olive oil spray. Because we are making an Alfredo, we do want the texture of our vegetables to blend in with the noodles, which is why I'm using so much olive oil spray. I really, really want it a little more like cooked than uncooked. So now we are going to take some sea salt and some more pesto, and we're gonna throw it into the pan with our zucchini and our squash just to give everything a little bit of flavor. Like, I love flavorful food, sorry. <laughs> Add some black pepper in there, and then next you're going to get your egg noodles. The water should be boiling by now, and drop them in the water. Once that's in there, a little bit more salt, and stir lightly. Add in some spinach into the vegetables now that it's finally cooked down to the consistency that I want it at. It will take absolutely no time for this to cook down. So once your noodles are finished, you're going to take your vegetables and add into the chicken. Look at how beautiful these colors are, guys. It's so good. We're gonna add our sauce into it, give it a good mix, and then once we're finished mixing it up to our liking, we're going to lay our egg noodles lightly on top. Not a lot of noodles. I really wanted more chicken and vegetables than noodles, so you just put your liking of noodles on top and mix it up, add some Parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese if you're feeling froggy, and then jump. <laughs> and there you have it, zucchini squash chicken alfredo, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what meals you guys look forward to seeing in the future. Bye.